Sana Mir was born in 1986 in Pakistan. She used to play street cricket with her older brother, but the initial fun became an electrifying passion for the game, and she enrolled at the Zahira Bas Academy to hone her skills. Sana also had an aptitude for sciences and won a place to study engineering at university. After finding that academics and cricket clashed both, she dropped her course and turned professional cricketer. In 2005, age 19, she began appearing in Pakistan's national team, often named best player of the tournament. She then became captain, leading the team to a gold medal at the Asian Games in 2010. She is the only Pakistani in the top 20 women cricketers in the world. Welcome to Michelle Hussein Meets with my guest today, Sana Mir. Welcome, Sana. Thank you. We're really pleased to have you here with us today. Tell me first about how this love for cricket began in your life. I think from the way you start, I've been uh, like playing with my brother on the streets, and you can see cricket everywhere in Pakistan, whether it's on the streets and schools and colleges. Uh, in ground, so it's it was cricket all over. And in 1992, when Pakistan uh, won the famous World Cup under the captaincy of Imran Khan, I think that was the time. And I also wished that someday I can wear that uh, green shirt and represent Pakistan. And here you are today in your green blazer. Obviously, cricket is very big in Pakistan, but you don't see that many little girls playing, at least compared to the number of boys. Yes, initially when I started, I, I used to be the only girl on the team everywhere. When I was playing on the streets, I was the only girl. When I was playing in the school, I was the only girl. But when, in 2005, I, I gave the trials for the women's team of Pakistan, I saw a number of girls who, who had the same story and who were the only girls they used to play with their families on the streets or in school. And then we all got together in 2005 and we just... So finally you found some kids with spirit. Yes. <laughs> but in all that time, when you were the only girl, you know, with your brother and his friends or, or the only girl in the school playing cricket, how did that feel? I, I just felt like them. I, I always thought that this is the thing I have to do. Uh, I didn't care what anyone has to say. And people used to, there were some people who used to say that this is not a game for girls and what are you going to do if you're, you're practicing it from 9 in the morning till 5 in the evening. You are, like when we used to have a summer holiday, I used to be on the streets the whole day. And people used to say that, what's in it for you? So I used to say that when I grow up, there'll be a team and I'll play in that team. <laughs> and when I grew up, I was lucky that there was a team and I... I was able to get to it. Uh, get to in, into but it. what about playing cricket and being a professional sportswoman in, in a country like Pakistan, where people overall are quite conservative? Uh, I think uh, there's a little misconception about Pakistan as well because we have got women in every field. We have got women uh, flying the jet fighter pilots in Pakistan Air Force. We have got women in media. We have got women in medicine. But yes, uh, cricket cricket has not been uh, like very recognized before uh, 2005, but we had cricket, uh, females playing cricket uh, back in 1980s, I think. There were women who, used, who started cricket, then there were girls who were taking up, but it, it, it was in 2005 when BCB took over, and finally there was a team established for women. But there, there must be people who think that, you know, it's not seemly for women to play cricket, maybe it's not even Islamic to see women you know, running around in, in cricket kit, taking part in the I think the, uh, the, the dress code of cricket is quite decent and uh, there has been never uh, any issue about that. We have never faced such an issue. Uh, but what about, what would you say to those people who might even be surprised that Pakistan has a, a women's cricket team? The men, of course, get lots of attention for all sorts of reasons. <laughs> 
I think uh, uh, there's no, not anyone's fault because uh, the cricket doesn't come on television and we have to get it aired a lot. But yes, uh, it was a surprise even for the Pakistanis in 2010 when we won an Asian gold medal. And a lot of Pakistanis said that, is there a team of, uh, playing cricket for Pakistan? Because uh, we don't uh, get the matches on air, we don't have much sponsors that we can air the matches on. So that was a problem, but uh, after 2010, I think a lot of people know that there's a team now playing. And that was a really key moment, a real breakthrough moment, because you and your team went to the Asian Games and ended up winning a gold medal. It's earned us the recognition we have been waiting for. We have been working very really hard for the past five, six years, but the recognition was not there as it should have been. So everyone just recognized us, the whole people of Pakistan, also the government as well. And Pakistan Cricket Board, they uh, gave us contract. Now cricket is now a professional sport. So actually it changed everything. everything because now we get paid to play cricket. Before that, we were just doing it for passion and it, it was only on tours or during the camps that the players got paid. But the whole year, we have to uh, like leave our studies, leave our education, or we won't be able to do any jobs because we had to go to camps for a month or two months. But it was after 2010 that now it has become a profession in Pakistan. So before that you really had to do it for the love of the game and pretty yes. much nothing else. Love the game and love for the country. Well, and what is it like now? You know, you're a professional cricketer and the game, your, your team is much more established. So what, what, is, your, what is your daily routine like? What, what does it take to perform at, at your level? Uh, I usually have to do around uh, five to six hours training every day. That, uh, Seven days a week? Uh, no, uh, six days. Okay, week. you get one day. One day off. Day off. And it's usually like we, I go to the gym for uh, for two hours, around two hours. And, and the then, team? No, it's uh, when we are on in, in the camp, then we have got six, seven days, and we, uh, six, seven uh, hours of practice, and we've got matches as well. This is something I'm telling, like individually, when I'm not in a camp, yet, yet I have to do the same thing, that I have to go to the gym to, for, to, uh, for two, two, three hours. Then I have to go for cricket practice, like working on my skills, my fielding skills, my batting skills. Then I have to do that. And uh, once or twice a week, I, I play matches against boys so that we can get a good competition and I can improve. And you, you, you've, you've had difficulties with injury, haven't you, as a, yeah. a, like many professionals? Yeah. Tell me more about that and the impact that it has. Because usually, uh, when I started back in 2005, I, nev I never knew the concept of fitness before that. I used to play on the streets and I just wanted to play cricket. There was nothing I knew about fitness. So when, after one year of rigorous training, I had been doing a lot of training, but I was not doing a lot of fitness. So I got uh, injured. My I had a stress fracture in my back. And a lot of doctors in Pakistan, they just told me that your cricketing career is over, that you should just forget about it. But we had a South African physiotherapist, uh, PCB had a South African physiotherapist with us and she helped me out a lot. Then I, I was on a rehab program and I turned from a fast bowler to a spinner because my action was a bit more. You awkward. changed your entire bowling style? Yes. How hard was that? That was pretty hard because uh, biomechanics are altogether different than... Uh, You're generally either one thing or the other. Exactly. So it's it was uh, a bit tough but... Uh, for the love of the game, I just wanted to represent the country and uh, I had good facilities. Uh, the PCB provided us with good facilities, plus uh, the rehab with uh, our physio and my teammates, they all helped me through that. Well, the conversation will continue in just a moment. You're watching Michelle Hussain Meets with my guest today, Sana Mir. Stay with us, we're back in just a second. <laughs> Thank you. 